Good morning. At Open Streets Minneapolis. We're just here to listen. There is an open invitation. If you'd like to be listened to this morning. To talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The nonprofit Sidewalk Talk started five years ago in San Francisco. The idea, simple. Put out some chairs in public. Connecting and see what happens. Okay, all right. Lisa Mayer is the Twin Cities chapter leader. It just really spoke to me because it's so simple but so profound. These conversations are meant to connect us. I've been here seven years and I have made any friends. So. And fight against loneliness. For a moment, our humanity mattered the most. And if you can get those moments and then build on them, I think that has an impact on loneliness. I think it's a hard thing for people to admit that they're lonely. Carrie Henning-Smith with the University of Minnesota School of Public Health says we're seeing more research and attention on loneliness. They've been able to quantify that feeling these feelings of loneliness and isolation are as bad for your health as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. In a new Cigna survey of more than 10,000 Americans, three in five adults reported they are lonely, a 7% increase from just a year ago. The survey found that men were lonelier than women and that younger generations felt lonely more often than older adults. I'm surrounded by all these people and that's great and all, but they're not coming home with me. They're not there when I open the door, you know, I'm. When I open the door, it's just me. Lauren Marshall moved to St. Paul last February, and it's the 26-year-old's first time really living alone. Then add in social media. I think to myself personally, like, what am I doing with my life? You know, why am I not on that level? Why haven't I achieved that yet? Um, and that just, that creates so much loneliness. So what do we do about it? Lauren is embracing her loneliness. I just say to myself, what I'm feeling, the loneliness of wanting someone is completely normal, but I'm not gonna rush it. So as of right now, I'm just really focusing on my mind, body, and soul, doing what I love. It's hard to put the onus completely on the people who are feeling lonely. I think the responsibility belongs to all of us. Big kick, big kick, big kick. Oh, no, no. Oh! Interacting is key for Eric Hybert. Eric, good to meet you, brother. He created the game Mojo Kickball to bring people together in Austin passing it on to the Twin Cities when he moved here more than six years ago. Out, out, out. Like, I actually looked this up, like Minnesota Nice, I'm like, what is going on here? Everybody's so accommodating, but yet, you know, they don't, they're still like arm's length. Like, what is that feeling? Many of the players came from the Twin Cities' new friends meetup group, Jason, using the online world to find in-person events. I came here with three bags out of the airport, and I knew zero people. And then I had to push myself to make friends. There it is. Especially being in a new city, it's really hard. Shardy Umesh plays Mojo Kickball every week, and she's brought in new people to play too. And I think it's just more of this idea of, again, that concept of inclusion with contribution. It doesn't just, it doesn't stay here on the field, like it continues on. And everyone tries to be each other's champions. Human connection. Ooh, I get misty. <laughs> without keeping score. <laughs> Heidi Wigdahl. He's got it, he's got it. Carol Evan News. I like him. You can take a quick quiz to gauge how you're feeling. Just text the word lonely to 763-797-7215. The best part, the questionnaire also gives you ideas on how to make connections.